Scoreholio organizers, this is Ben with Scoreholio. I'm going to go over how to run a Switchholio tournament. Switchholio tournament is one of our funnest uh, types of tournaments. Basically, players sign up as a player on their own, and then it's a round robin style uh, format where every round that player is going to get a different partner. And then after the round robin's over, you can always head into a playoff bracket. I'm going to head into the app right now by clicking on it and um, show you how to run this thing. If you want to, you can actually run this at scoreholio.com on a laptop as well. I run all my tournaments from my phone. And I'll start off by clicking on this Run a Tournament tab, the blue one. And when I go in there, you're going to see the uh, video, or excuse me, Switchholio tutorial video. I've already set up the tournament and added players, so that way we can kind of get through this thing. Um, when I click on it, I'm going to go to the Edit first, which is this orange button on the bottom left. And when I go there, you're going to see I have my uh, name of my tournament, the time, where it's at. Um, if you want to, go ahead and click that info button there. It's going to have more information on all of this stuff, but we're going to move kind of quickly through this tutorial. The main things are that I have a round robin format and I have a switch holio team generation. We have other formats as well, like split switch and everything. If you go to docs.scoreholio.com, you can learn about all of the different formats and team generations. Uh, the next two that are kind of important in a switch holio, I'm going to start off with the number of rounds here. You'll notice I have it set to number uh, four rounds. I always and highly suggest that you stick with a multiple of four rounds. If you do, everybody in the tournament, whether you have odd number of players or whatever, they'll all get four rounds. If you do something like three rounds, they, you do need four players in the tournament. So there's a graph at switchholio.com that'll kind of go over the rounds and players. But for a good rule of thumb, stick with four, uh, multiple of four. So four, eight, 12 rounds and everybody will end correctly. The next one is number of courts. You really want in a Switch Holio tournament to have more players and courts available. So let's say that I have two courts. That means that eight players are playing at the same time. You'd want to have at least 11 players in this tournament. And that's a, a rule of thumb is about three uh, people not playing um when you're running this tournament and that's to make sure that you have enough people for the system to shuffle up and give people random partners if you do eight players on two courts you're gonna end up with when one court submits they're all four gonna come off a of court and they're gonna go right back on the court mixed up with each other and the system needs people in the coming up section which you'll see in the a little bit to be able to mix up so um those are the main ones on setting up your tournament I, i'm gonna let you read about all the rest of the stuff like pre-registration and um, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and click update down here at the bottom. The next thing we're going to go over is getting players into this tournament. So you can do it in the admin or what I'm going to do to start off is click this check in button, which is the blue one down here. And you'll notice it's going to open up my um, my camera. The first way to do it is that, you know, if a player comes to this tournament um, and you click this uh, player profile button here at the top, um, if they're they're logged in, they can click this check in button and it gives you a QR code and you can just scan their QR code and add that player to the tournament. So it's super easy if everybody just downloads the app that will allow them to get alerts uh, throughout the tournament. The other way is to go ahead and manually add somebody. So let's say I'm going to add in here, uh, I don't know, Bobby Tovar, right, to this tournament and add player. You could add an email and then that way they get all their alerts and everything that way. Um, the other thing on the bottom left is the purple pre-registration button. You can click on that and anybody that's pre-registered to this tournament, you could just go ahead and click on them and add them to the tournament. So that's how you do that. I'm going to leave Justin there. We'll add him in the admin so you can see how to do that. The last one is this up at the top left is that little guy there. If you click on that one, that's how you can add yourself as the organizer to the tournament if you click on that one. I've already added myself. I'm not going to add myself again. Um, and then I'm going to click this back button, which will uh, bring us back to our tournament. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on our tournament again, and this time I'm going to head into the admin. That's where all the magic happens, and that's that red one in the bottom right-hand corner. So when I go into the admin of this tournament, you're going to see it's going to start off in this players and teams section, and that's where everybody is that was in this tournament. So you can see I have 10 players down here. They're all in the checked-in section. If I had a player that was pre-registered and I want to check them in through the admin, I can always click on them here and click check in team. And that's going to move them down to this checked in section. Um, if I want to add somebody just manually in the admin, let's say it's Paul 
uh, Johnson. I can go ahead and do that, and I can add an email there as well and create him, and he's checked into this tournament as well. Um, and then you can also, if somebody is uh, in this, if somebody's played with you before, so let's say I have had Alia play in my tournaments before, you can type it in there and go ahead and quickly add somebody that's played in your tournament. So that's pretty much how to run everything. If you need to like edit somebody, like let's say there are two Bobby T's and you wanted the full name, you can go ahead and click on that blue bar, and that's going to be able to, you know, you could edit anybody score or anything like that through that section right there um you could also let's say somebody leaves and you just don't don't want them to you know get alerts or anything you could also click on the player and remove them from their team and when you remove somebody it's going to move them up to this uh unassigned subs and you could actually click on somebody and move them back to their team uh, that way. So that's all the management within the team uh, section. Go ahead and click around. You can find a, a couple of buttons everywhere, um, or you can go to docs.sigorholio.com to learn more. Um, what, uh, once you get everybody in and you're ready to start this tournament, you can go ahead and click Start Tournament and then click Populate Courts. The system's going to go from that player's team section, and it's going to go ahead into our round robin section. If you click on the top left, these three lines, you'll see that it, that's it's going to run you right down your tournament here. It starts with that players and teams, and then it goes to the round robin. I'll show you the bracket here in a second. But you'll notice this is the four players onto the two teams. That's what um, you know we have here, and uh, players would be able to see it from their phones as well. Um, and then if you need to go ahead and score from this you can always click on a, a number here let's say it's 21 to 5 you can go ahead and do that and click the submit button what you'll notice is it's going to take those four off and put them at the bottom of this coming up list and put the next people on whenever you start to get people with the same amount of rounds now it's going to start to shuffle up those teams and that's why you need to have some people in this coming up section for the system to be able to uh, shuffle. Now, if uh, you know players have their phones, or if you ever want to see the dashboard, you can come over here and click the top left and click dashboard. That'll bring you here to be able to see everything that like how the players see. I'm going to head back into the admin though. Um, we're not going to go ahead and score every one of these games, but once everybody gets four games, you're going to see that they're all going to move over here to this finish section, which is this finish not in play section. Everybody only has one, but if they had four, they would all move here and eventually all your courts would be empty and you would be ready to start the bracket. In order to do that, you would click this top left, these three lines here, and you're going to click the bracket tab here. Now, once you click that bracket tab, you're going to want to click this green create bracket. And when you do, this is the uh, criteria for creating your bracket. The first one is format. If you want to do a single or double elimination, I always do a single elimination, but that's up to you. Um, you're going to see bracket size right here. So once you do bracket size, it'll actually change how many are highlighted down here. So let's say I want to do six players or excuse me, 12 players, six teams. You'll notice Todd is left out. If I want to add a ghost player, so that means somebody would, um, you know, somebody would be a single, I could do that. And then I would be able to bring in uh, 14 players. And then the last thing is, is the seed, excuse me, this pairing method. The pairing method is, is, is important. You know, the, you could do top with first of lower half, top with bottom, uh, Cornelius, uh, the 50-50, which is kind of like a blind drop top with the ha top half with the bottom half. And then there's singles. To learn more about what those mean, you can go to docs.scoreholio.com, look for Switch Holio. We have a whole write-up on them. Uh, but they're pretty self-explanatory. You could always run a little test like I am. Um, you know, don't put any emails in or set the tournament to test in your create when you're creating it. Um, and, and go ahead and run through one yourself. But I'm going to go ahead and create this bracket. And what you're going to notice is it's going to go ahead and make the bracket um, for us to be able to play through the playoffs. Now, if I want to just score through admin, I could click on one here and let's say it's 21 to, I don't know, nine. And I can click submit scores and submit this match. It's going to move the team forward in the, uh, in, in the bracket. So this is how you run a, uh, you know, bracket or excuse me, a switch Holio round Robin into a bracket. And it is a ton of fun to do. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm with Scoreholio and it's easy peasy.